Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Everything or Nothing. Unfortunately, last week our contestant China Choudhury had to leave with nothing. Um, well, before we begin the show, here are the rules. The rules of the game. First, the luck and wit round. The contestants will answer a multiple choice general knowledge question. If they get the question right, they go to the guessing wall where their luck will be tested. The first card will be revealed to them and the rest they have to guess. At the guessing wall, contestants will have to complete their row of cards one at a time by guessing if the next card in the series is higher or lower than the previous number on the card. And now let's meet the contestants. Hello. Hello. Your name and where you're from? My name is Ali Ansar and I'm from Leighton from London. Well, Ali Ansar, welcome to the show. Thank you. And your name and where you're from? Uh, my name is Shamin, from Popla. From Popla. Shamin, welcome to the show. And your name and where you're from? My name is Jafar Ahmed. I'm come from Hackney in London. Well, um, Jafar, welcome to, to the show. Thank I, you. I like your beard. Thank you. Moustache didn't grow or do you, you, do you shave? You have to shave every day? No, every day. Every couple of days. Okay. Um, I saw you without a beard last time I saw you. So, um, it's... Uh, but you're looking... Right, thank you. And uh, your name and where are you from? Uh, my name is Nurul and I live in Walthamstow. Walthamstow, welcome to the show Nurul. Thank you. All the best to everybody. Now we will get cracking on with the show. So, Ali and Sir. Yeah. You know what pulls us together to the honor of having we are we walk and um, we we live on this planet and something keeps us on this planet which is gravity yes yes so the question is which scientist discovered gravity a is it benjamin franklin b sir isaac newton or c nikola tesla isaac newton isaac newton how did you come to that um, conclusion i mean have you studied gravity or...? Yes, I'm a science student. You're a science student. Well, you're absolutely right. Well done. Okay, Aliansa, your first card is 14. Now, the card is 1 to 15, higher or lower? Lower. Lower. And Aliansa is saying lower and it's lower. Well done. Seven. Have you been to America? No. I don't think you should go now. Because Trump wouldn't like oh, yeah, so Muslim to foreigners to going in, so I don't think you go um, now. They just stayed after so, Trump got selected. Yeah, so, um, well, if you haven't been there, I'm sure you've, you've seen American movies, uh, yeah? Yeah. I, I, I'm sure you can watch American movies. I, I'm sure Trump wouldn't have any problem with that. But anyway, <laughs> in which country is the Statue of Liberty? Canada, America, or France? America, New York. New York, right. Okay, your first card. Number four, higher or lower? I think higher. Higher and it's higher, yes, well done. Okay, whose official plane is Air Force One? Whose official plane is Air Force One? A, the British Prime Minister, B, the US President, or C, Canadian Prime Minister? Canadian Prime Minister. Canadian Prime Minister has Air Force One. Yes. Um, you're wrong. It's the American President. Sorry. Now, tell me, in which country would you find the longest wall ever built? America, Russia, or China? China. The longest wall ever built in China. China. Yeah. I think very soon there'll be the longest wall in, uh, in the border of, um, I think, US and Mexico, Mexico, I think. Yeah. Uh, I don't think so Trump would dare to do that. <laughs> Well, he promised that's, that's he how he got it. elected. Um, so, see if he can make it. Anyway, before he does that, yes, you're right. China has. 
along this wall. Your first card is H. Now, higher or lower? I think higher. Higher. And it's yeah. lower. Sorry. Yeah, thank you. We're changing the card. Okay. Alian sir, in which US city is known as the city of angels? New York, Boston, or Los Angeles? Los Angeles. City of Angels, um, have you lived in the, in the US? No. You haven't lived in the US. And you answered correctly. Well done. Okay, your last card was seven. Higher or lower? Lower. Lower. And it? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Charmin, who's your favorite pop star? Well, from childhood, I like Michael Jackson, MJ. Well, he's oh, really? I wish he lived a bit longer. Anybody else? You mean from Bangladesh? Or uh, you're a pop star from anywhere. Pop star. I, I like to listen to classical music. Classical like music. Okay. You, you are a singer yourself, aren't you? Yeah, I try. Okay, so what kind of music do you... I uh, what kind of songs do you sing? Classical. Classical. Okay. Who sang the song Thriller? Elvis Presley, Queen or Michael Jackson? My favourite pop star, king of the pop, Michael Jackson. The late king of the pop, Michael Jackson and you're right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, you had 14. Next card, higher or lower? Lower. And it's lower. Well done. Thank you. Jafar, in which European country would you find the leaning tower of Pisa? Is it A, Portugal, B, Italy, or C, Spain? Italy. Italy. Peso. And you're right. Now, your, this is your first card. Number three. Next card, higher or lower? Higher. Higher. And it's higher. Well done. Thank you. Okay. Nurul. That's right. Who wrote the Harry Potter book series? Is it J.R.R. Tolkien or J.K. Rowling or C.S. Lewis? J.K. Rowling. J.K. Rowling. Yeah. Have you read the book? No. Have you watched the films? Uh, halfway through, yeah. Halfway through? I stopped. <laughs> halfway through you stopped watching the movies? Uh, well, especially this one. Uh, you didn't like it? Uh, that's, these are not kind of my movies, to be honest. Well, I wouldn't blame you, actually. I haven't watched all of the series, actually. And you're right. Well done. And your last card was eight. Next card, higher or lower? L lower. Lower. And it's... Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Nurul. No, it's all right. No worries. Alian, sir, you're... I mean, you're getting the answers right. This, unfortunately, you guessed one of the cards wrong. Never mind, let's see. You have children? Yes, I have. How many children do you have? Two. Okay. Um, they went to school? Yes. Okay, now... What is the first year of the secondary school? Is it A, year six, B, year seven, or C, year eight? Year six. Year six is the first year of school. I'm afraid you're wrong, it's year seven. <laughs> <clears throat> what is the biggest mountain in the world? What is the biggest mountain in the world a, the Everest, B, the Glen, or C, Yellowstone. Which is the biggest mountain in the world? Everest. The Everest. Everest. Everest is the biggest mountain in the world. Yeah. And you're right. <laughs> right, you're... Well, in the guessing world, you're doing quite well. You're... 
Previous card was seven. Now the next card. Now Sharmin, higher or lower? I'm gonna go for higher. You go for higher. Sharmin is saying higher, and let's find out if it's higher or lower. Eight. Wow. Higher. Well done. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Jafar. Which animal is used as the logo for the World Wide Fund for Nature? A. The lion. B. The panda. C. Turtle. Lion. Lion is used for the logo for the World Wide Fund for Nature. Yes. You're wrong. It's the panda. Never mind. Nur. Whose autobiography has the title A Long Walk to Freedom? Is it A. Nelson Mandela, B. Mahatma Gandhi, or C. George Washington? Whose autobiography uh, has Nelson the. Mandela. Sorry? Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela. Yeah. <coughs> A Long Walk to Freedom? Yes. Correct. Okay. Right. You seem to be getting all the answers I right, know. but unfortunately, your. Guessing wall, your, your luck is not Shame. favoring you. So, yeah. now, higher or lower? Lower. Lower. And it's ah, <laughs> higher. Nurul, unlucky. Very unlucky. I know. Alian sir, who wrote the play Romeo and Juliet? Is it A, Roald Dahl, B, Shakespeare, or C, Oliver Cromwell? Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Of course you're right. right. Previous card was seven. Higher or lower? Higher. Higher. Alian sir is saying higher and if... Let's see if it's higher. Yes. Well done. Sharbin, what part of Pinocchio grows when he tells a lie? Is it ears, nose, or hair? Nose. Have you read the book Pinocchio's? Pinocchio book? I love the cartoon. You love the cartoon. Well, you're right. <laughs> oh, hug. Oh. Let's see, my God, you've, um, you're nearly finishing your, your guessing ball line. If you get this right, you'll be going on to the second round. Okay. Okay? So now, Sharmin, your last card, higher or lower? I'm guessing lower. Lower. Lower? No. Sharmin gets his card right, gets to the second round. Fingers crossed. Lower? Sharmin is saying lower. And it's Laura! Yes! Well done, Sharmin. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. You're going to the next round. Thank you. So which will be the darts round? So if you go, if you get the highest score in the darts round, obviously you're gonna go into finals. Yeah. yeah? Thank you so much. You're welcome. Everything or nothing. Brought to you by Steamline Linen Services. Everything or nothing. Brought to you by Steamline Linen Services. And Sharmin Khan has gone to the second round, to the darts round, and if she scores the highest score, she'll be going to the finals. Now, I'm going to go to our contestant, Jafar Ahmed. Jafar Ahmed. You're getting question wrong, you're getting your cards wrong, what's going on? <laughs> well, let's find, let's, let's, let's see if you get this right. And also the luck favors you, so, um, Jafar, tell me, what is the name of the tallest structure ever built? Is it A? Empire State Building, B, Eiffel Tower, or C, Burj Khalifa? Burj Khalifa. Did you measure the buildings or something? No. <laughs> How did you answer it so quickly? <laughs> because I know that. That's you why. know that. You're right. Okay. Um, your last card was 12. Now, higher or lower? Lower. Lower. Jafar Ahmad is saying it's lower. And it's lower, yes!
Well done. Nuru. I know. The intelligent man, but very unlucky. I know. Man, Luck intelligent and unlucky. I know. It's not going it's in your favor, is it? <laughs> okay, now let's see. Within which Italian city would you find the Vatican? In, within which Italian city would you find the Vatican? A. Milan, B. Rome, or C. Venice? In which Italian city would you find the Vatican? Milan, Rome, or Venice? Rome. Correct, once again. Now, tell me, higher or lower? I don't You're know, unlucky. You're such an unlucky guy. You I know. <laughs> uh, what should I say? I'll pass. <laughs> um, what was the first one? Now, this will basically, now, if you get this wrong, mm -hmm. you'll be sort of. I, I'll declare you the most unlucky man on the show. I know. It's terrible. Um, I'll go to lower. You'll go for lower. Now, the rules repetition depends on this card. <laughs> Let's just hope it's lower, yes? And it's lower, well done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's good. It's luck. Thank you. Lucky. Right, okay. Okay, Alianza. Now tell me, you're a man of science. Started, yes? Started. You studied, well, you studied, you, you know your facts. You know your science, I, from, from the first answer which I basically gathered. Now tell me, what percentage of the Earth's surface is covered in water? A, 70%, B, 80%, or C, 90%? What percentage of Earth is covered in water? 70%, 80%, or 90%? 70%. Correct! Your last card was 12. Next card, higher or lower? Lower. Lower. Ali Al Sai is saying lower, and it's lower, yes! Excellent. Jafar Ahmed. The man without moustache. Only. <laughs> now tell me, what day is it tradition for people to pull jokes on each other? Is it A, February the 14th, B, April the 1st, or C, November the 5th? Sorry, second. What day is it tradition for people to pull jokes on each other? February the 14th, April the 1st, or November the 5th? April the 1st. April the 1st. Why is it April the 1st? Because people are joking in each other, uh, making... Has anybody pulled a joke on you on April yeah, first? Well, they always yeah, do. Well, um, if if I find you on April first, I'll draw a moustache. Oh, I love it. Thank yeah? you. Why not? You're right. You. Your last card was ten. Lower. Lower. Jabra Singh is lower. And it's lower. Well done. Excellent. <laughs> no. Yes. Intelligent man. Bad luck. Unlucky, <laughs> lucky, sort of in your second card. Now let's see how you do. Yeah. In the popular sci fi show, Doctor Who, what is the name of the time travel machine? A. DeLorean, B. TARDIS, or C. Enterprise? I think I got you there. Yeah. Um, TARDIS? Yeah. Tardis. Yeah. God damn. Hello. I swear. That's right. You know your knowledge. You know your general knowledge, don't you? You, you, you're good. Well done. You're right. Tardis, it is. Your last card was two. Higher or lower? Oh, again. Um, higher. Higher. And it's higher. Yes. Thank you. Alianza, at what age can a UK resident vote in a general election? Is it A, 16, B, 
18 or C20. At what age can a UK resident vote in a general election? 16, 18 or 20? Why did you take so much time to answer that? I was hesitating. I was hesitating. Well, you're right. Thank you. Okay, <clears throat> now you're on your last card. If you get this right, you go on to the second round. Higher or lower? Lower. Lower. Ali Ansar is saying lower. His last card, if he gets this, this card right, he goes on to the second round and let's see if it's higher or lower. Lower, yes! <laughs> Alia, so well done. Congratulations, you go on to the, on to the second round and you'll be competing with Shami on the darts, uh, darts round, basically. So well done. Jafar Ahmed, thank you very much for coming. I have to say goodbye to you. Thank you. Thank you very intelligent, much. unlucky man. Well done. Thank you you no played problem. very well. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming. Cheers. Thank you. Now we are on our second round, which is the darts round. I would like to call Sharmin Khan on the stage. Sharmin Khan, please come up. Here's the darts and the dart board. Now step here. Try to get the highest score. Um, it's three. Six. Six. Three, six, six. Equals to 15. On the first round, Sharmin Khan has scored 15. Now let's find out if Ali Ansar can beat that score. Ali Ansar, please come up. The darts, please step here and the dartboard. Now try to get the highest score. Shamin has scored 15. Eight. Six. Three. Eight, six and three. On the first round of darts, Shamin Khan scored 15. Ali Ansar scored 17. Now, Sharmin Khan, please come on stage again. Try to get the highest score. Seven. Two. An eight. Seven, eight, two. Charmin scored 15 on the first round, and on the second round, she scored 17, 32 total altogether. Charmin, thank you very much. Please have a seat. And Alian, sir, please come up. You need to score more than 15. So if you score 16 on this round, you'll go into the finals. One. Six, eight, one, six, eight. Alian sir, you have scored a total of 32. Exactly the same score as Sharmin Khan. So this is the first time we have a tie on this show. So now, uh, on this tie round, I will ask Sharmin Khan to come up here again. And um, this is the tie round basically, so let's see who scores the most. So please, step there. Uh, don't leave the stage, stay here. Charmin. Okay. Third round. Now, on this round, whatever you score, if he beats that score, then, or if you have the highest, he can't beat the score, one of you will go to the final round. So please. Four. Six. And six, 
You scored 16. Thank you. 16. Ali Ansar tried to uh, beat the score or be lower, so not to try, not try not to break tie. You have to go again, so you have to score more than 16. Nine. Six. Seven, well done. <laughs> Ali Ansar has scored 22. Uh, Ali Ansar, congratulations. You have gone to the final rounds. Uh, Sharmin, I'm so sorry, but thank you very much for coming and trying. You've done your best and uh, you've, you've, you've played very well. So, um, well, you see, that, that's, um, everybody gets sort of caught up here, you see. Not everybody plays darts, and we know that. That's where we try to get them. So, thank you very much for coming. So, please, have a seat. Thank you. Ali Ansar, thank you so much. Thank you, and I'll see you at the final round. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on the final rounds of Everything or Nothing. I hope Ali Ansar wins and goes home with everything on this show. Um, our prizes tonight is a toaster and a wall clock. And of course, like every other last winning prize, we have meal for four. Ali Ansar. Yes. Welcome to the final round. Okay. Now, you know how it works. So, I'll, I'll go and reveal the first card. Okay. And now then you have to guess the card from then on. Okay. Your first card is 15. Now, this card is special. The reason is that's the highest number. Obviously, the, all the other cards are lower than that. Yeah. So you don't have to guess. I'll turn the card for you. So the first card is 6. Yeah. Now, higher or lower? Higher. Higher. Ali Ansar is saying higher. And it's higher, well done. Number nine, your last card, higher or lower? If you get this right, you have won a wall clock, you have won a toaster. If you get this card right, you'll win meal for four. Higher or lower? Lower. Lower. Ali Ansar saying lower. And it's lower, yes! Congratulations! Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our winner after, uh, I think after about two episodes. We have our first winner after two episodes. I'm so delighted, so pleased. So well done. You have won a wall clock, you have won a toaster, and you have won meal for four. Thank and um, thank you very much for playing. You have tremendously done very well. You've um, gone through the question rounds, uh, you've done the guessing ball and you've done the darts and you've, now you've completed the, the final rounds and you have won the wall clock, toaster and a middle for four. So congratulations. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of the show. We have Ali Ansar who has won everything or nothing tonight and he is leaving with everything. Finally, someone is leaving with everything after a long time. So don't miss our next show and I hope to see you all there. Everything or Nothing, brought to you by Steamline Linen Services.